<clears throat> All right, in this video, we're going to be pretty much practicing some features and tools that we know. We will be making a uh, bottle cap, like a medicine cap, uh, bottle cap. So we'll get right down to it. We're going to start our sketch right in the uh, top plane, and we are going to sketch a circle. Uh, sketch dot plane and we're going to call this the uh, cap sketch uh, circle just right on the origin and give that a dimension dimension of one all right and then we're going to Hit the green check mark and let's go ahead and extrude that. Shift plus E is the shortcut. And let's name this the cap extrude. And it's red because it doesn't know what to extrude yet. So all we gotta do is select cap sketch. Um, then we know that what we're extruding, and we're gonna extrude it in amount of 0.5. Okay, so our next step will be to hollow this out. I'll ask you if you can recall what command it is we use to hollow something out while I flip it over to the bottom page, bottom view. <clears throat> if you're able to recall it, it is the shell command. So you're going to grab that shell command, click on our cylinder there, and what we want to do is I'm going to just give this a name. Yeah, shell. For these simple parts, these names are just kind of about building the habit. Once we get into more complex assemblies, you'll want your, your sketches and your features named. Um, and they're also for, so that when I come over and check your work, I can troubleshoot them much quicker and faster. Uh, what we're going to do is set that, that thickness at 0.05. All right, you can put this arrow back and forth. We want it to be um, going in, not out. All right, so make sure that your material is on the inside of that orange ring. Hit check. You can see the cap is, is taking place. All we need to do now is add a fillet amongst a couple more steps. So... Here we're going to use the fillet command. I'm going to name it the cap fillet. Again, things are red because it doesn't know what to fill it. In that blue rectangle, it asks entities to fill up. Fill it. Fill it. And we're going to select that edge there. And we're going to give it a distance of 0.1. And no, I'm not sure what that's changing. Now we have the fillet on our cap. All right, this next part is going to involve creating reference geometry. We've talked a lot about reference geometry. We have to create a new plane. So what we're going to do, do is get into the front plane. And then I'm actually going to come up here and I'm going to select the plane command here. And because we had front plane selected, okay, what it's going to do is offset and create a new plane. So we're going to call this the tab because what we're making now is is like the tab that you flip up when you open a bottle cap that has that tab for your thumb for your finger to, to pry that up. Um, so we're going to call this the um, tab plane, and we're going to offset it a distance of uh, 0.65 away. And what that'll do is get it just that that cap has a diameter of one inch, so the radius is half an inch. 0.65 will get it and an extra 0.15 away from the outer edge. And so when we're done with it, what it'll look like is um, this. This right here is our tab plane. I'm gonna go ahead and hide uh, the top plane and the right plane so you can kind of see uh, what we've done there. And so now what we're gonna do is we're going to sketch a uh, rectangle right here on this plane. So I'm going to start a sketch. It's going to ask me which plane do I want to do that sketch in. 
I'm going to select the tab plane to do the sketch in. And the first thing I'm going to do is actually just draw a center line up uh, the middle here coming from the origin. And we're going to make that a construction line. Once that that's the construction line, then I'm going to use my center point rectangle tool. And I'm just going to draw a rectangle like so. Okay. And whoops, everything is not. Uh, this is actually going to be ref true geometry not just reference geometry so i selected every line and i've hit q to make it so all right now um, what i'm going to do is i'm going to just develop a cons all right i'll work on the gear keep it open i'll come over and check in a second um and then work on the gear for now uh all right so i'm going to develop this constraint uh, between these two lines by making them coincide it so that it's locked on the bottom of that cap and then i'm going to go ahead and give it the dimensions that we need to have and so those dimensions are as follows we want a height of 0.065 and then we want a uh Distance from here to the center line of 0.15. And because it's a center point rectangle, that should be all the dimensions we need to fully define it. And it is. We've got a full black rectangle here. So now what I want to do is I'm going to kick it over, oopsies, into a view where you can kind of see. Again, I'm going to hide these planes so you have a better idea of what's going on here. Okay, so what we've done is we've sketched this rectangle way out here, away from the bottle cap. And then what we're going to do is we're going to extrude that into the bottle cap. What the feature we're going to use that we haven't used in the past mean involves um, telling that extrude, hey, you're just going to go up to the face. What's handy about that is we'll get this nice curve without having to do <coughs> any of the leg work, really. So I'm going to go ahead and just call this the tab sketch. And now what we're going to do is select extrude. It asks what it is we want to extrude. We're going to select tab sketch. Um, and then I'm going to flip that around so it's going the other direction. And right now you can see it's going all the way through the cap. We don't want that. Uh, so that's a blind, meaning it just goes for a depth, a certain amount of depth that we uh, delegate it to do. Uh, what I'm just going to do is select up to next. And what you can see is that just what that does is just brings it up the next face the next surface and just mates it exactly how it needs to so we've got that uh, concave edge on that tab already created for us uh, if we were to select new it would still do that but it would make it a separate part and we'd have two parts down here uh, what we're going to do is make it add so we've only got one part and it will just go ahead and just marry that um tab to the bottle cap and and of course we should name this tab extrude and hit check and boom there we go we have the tab now it just looks a little goofy so what we're going to do is clean up those edges by giving this a fillet here so i'm just going to select that edge and i'm going to select this edge and that looks really goofy now but once we go ahead and change that fillet to a dimension of what um, 0.1 we are given that. Um, we have two fillets now. So we're going to go ahead and call this tab fillet. And bada boom, bada bang, you are done. There's your bottle cap.